Hello YouTube family members. We're at the Phoenician Resort up in Scottsdale, right at the base of Camelback Mountain. We're meeting some family members here today, so we thought we'd bring you along and give you a little tour of this um, five-star resort. Should mm. be very nice. Yes, we're gonna have lunch and have uh, just some wonderful time with Brent, Christina, and of course, Ryan. Yep. There we go. We're coming in at the parking level and we're gonna ride the elevators up mm -hmm. to the main lobby. Very pretty so far. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. One level up from the parking garage entrance is the event and conference center. We went up one more level and found the shops at the Phoenician. These socks are big man's look, like when you see the... <laughs> you gotta wear them both together. Oh, look at these uh, uh, UPF uh, sun shirts. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those tiles are really pretty. Oh, those are pretty. Wow. Oh, look at the back of these tennis shoes. Look at the back of them, they look like little eyes. That's right. I don't, may not have eyes in the back of my head, but I have them on the back of my shoe. Yeah. Hammer. That's pretty. Shooter or so. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Look yes. at all the little soaps and... I wouldn't want to use it. Looks them. like for a unicorn. Uh -huh. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice cake. Oh, look at this lavender. Look at that. Yep. The lavender and the dried flowers. Uh -huh. it's like oh. and they have a kids club. Drop off the kids. The Phoenicians Club. Did you see what they did there? Uh -huh. Just outside the Port Cochere and main lobby entrance is this stunning fountain. This part of the resort highlights the fact that it sits right at the base of Camelback Mountain, offering a close-up look at its rugged features. As you enter the main building and head across the lobby, you step out onto the patio of the Thirsty Camel Bar. Here you get a glimpse of the resort's main pool area, as well as a panoramic view of the Valley of the Sun. The resort offers a variety of other amenities, such as a spa, tennis courts, and a 27-hole golf course. We didn't get a chance to visit those because it was time to meet up with the family. Ah! <laughs> Brunch was at Maori and Cotton which features regional, seasonally inspired American dining. Ready? This is. We got there just in time, as they're closed from 2 to 5 in the afternoon to prepare for dinner. But we didn't miss the DJ. The menu had lots of interesting items to choose from, and we weren't disappointed with our selections which included a smoked brisket reuben. How fun is that? <laughs> wow. Seared ahi tuna melt. Green chili pork shank. And look at this, like, look at... And a whimsical rabbit-shaped bunny fufu grilled cheese. The resort offers a variety of other restaurants as well. Lori and Ryan are hoping to come back and enjoy afternoon tea one day. Oh, we have to come back one day. We also got a chance to meet Virgil, the hawk. He works at the resort to help keep birds away from the outdoor diners. Virgil. Virgil. After lunch, we headed back up to the marketplace to get some baked goodies. Let's go look at some desserts. Yes, let's. One of these plates. Look at these. Very clean cups. Uh -huh. Lime, prickly pear, uh -huh. orange creamsicle. 
which we enjoyed at the Thirsty Camel, accompanied by drinks and live piano music. Mm. <laughs> Is it that bad, dear? Oh, you guys. Oh. Which one's this one? The mint. It's mint. Oh. Oh. How is it? Mm. I love it. <laughs> I don't think it's coming back to you, dear. Oh. It's like a mint explosion in your mouth. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, that was a lot of fun hanging out here at the Phoenician for the afternoon, wasn't and it, dear? delicious. Yes. They Our had lunch was fantastic. Everything was excellent. Um, thank you so much to Brent and Christina for hanging out with us and spending the afternoon with us. And this is a fun place. I think we'll be back. I know we'll it's, be back. Because it's so close. But anyway, as always, we thank God for all the blessings that he gives us, not just for our good, but ultimately for his glory.